So we just got major updates to Final Cut Pro, both for the iPad version, which went to version 2, and the version for the Mac that jumped from 10.7.1 to 10.8. So here's some interesting facts about the updates to Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro. Logic Pro Mac jumps from version 10.8 all the way to version 11, and it's free for existing Logic Pro users. This is great news because Final Cut Pro is now at 10.8, and it very well could jump to 11 and be free to existing users the same way that Logic Pro did. These two versions of Logic Pro for the iPad and the Mac have a 100% feature parity. These are the features for both the iPad and the Mac version of Logic Pro. Session players, Chroma Glow, and the Stem Splitter. Unlike Final Cut iPad 2 and Final Cut Pro for the Mac 10.8, which share no common features. These are the features for Final Cut iPad 2. And these are the features for Final Cut Pro 10.8 for the Mac. Unlike Logic Pro, the Final Cut Pro updates, both for the Mac and the iPad, have no common features. It seems they are going in different directions the iPad version and the Mac version. Since they had a full number version update for Final Cut for the iPad to version 2, for optics they had to give Final Cut for the Mac also a full number update. So they jumped from 10.7.1 to 10.8. Calling it Final Cut Pro 10.7.2 would not cut it. Final Cut Pro 10.7 to 10.8 was the shortest duration between full number updates in the history of Final Cut Pro 10. Six months. This seems to indicate that full number updates do not have the same importance that they had up to Final Cut Pro 10.5 when they used to be big, big feature updates. Full number updates are just another regular update number. To be continued. My name's Taylor. Thanks for tuning in.